this video, we are going to be doing episode 2, and we have already looked through these. Definitely check out episode 1. Um, so yeah, we have a 99.9% .9 copper Lakota tribe coin down in there. Um, there's an example. I, I have one of these in my personal collection. It was from my dad. Um, copper... This is a two dollar coin, but it is nine ninety nine. I mean, yeah, nine point ninety nine fine copper. Um, here's the place if you want to buy some. I think right there, and yeah, Lakota tribe. So I'm going to get all these out. He's Looks like, and they sell on the internet for five dollars each, so five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, at least thirty dollars worth right there. Um, and then we have some more of the silvers. We got a two thousand two two thousand fifteens. I really don't want to get the rest out because it's gonna be a struggle to get them back in. We have 2015, 2015, and they are all 2015s. So I'm gonna put these back. And the half dollars. Alright, and a tip, if you want to be able to open your, your cases that are like this, don't put them straight on or you're going to have to use a knife. Um, put them to the side, just like that. Then you can get them open, using your thumb on the side. They might fly off, but yeah, that's one way. So yeah, we're done with that. Now. I want to know which one I should do. So I'm gonna do, um, I'm just gonna count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, we're gonna do this one first. Uh, I mean, I would rather do this one, but yeah, so we're gonna do this one first. So let's get right into this. Um, it's 2 minutes and 49 seconds. All right, so y'all already got a peek of all these coins. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start with this one. This is a $10 Mexico coin. It is from 19... 1997, right there, there's the date. Um, I have one that's from 1982. Um, it's in my personal coin collection. I think I have one on my video on my channel about it. Next up, we have a buffalo nickel. It's in pretty good condition, in my opinion. Um, I like these. I've only got one myself. Uh, it's in 1928 or 26. Can't see it very well. Maybe if I can zoom in on this, y'all can tell me in the comments what it is. All right, here, let me tap on it. Tell me in the comments what date that you think that is right there. But with my eyes, I think it's in 1926. Well, here's the reverse of the coin. I forgot to show you the reverse of this coin, I think. This is either the front or the back, I don't know. Alright, so next up we have a um, V nickel. Also known as Liberty Head Nickel, 1907. Pretty good condition in my opinion. Um, it is not mine, unfortunately. I would love to have one of these, but I'll have to buy one off of Amazon. Um, here we have a 1957. I have no idea what this coin is. I think it's silver. It is Barber Dime. I mean, Barber Nickel. I don't know if it's silver or not. Um, here's the reverse. This is 5P 
PTS, PTS, I think. Um, whatever it is, it's like five cents probably. Next up we have this mirror-like finish. Aruba, 1998. 50 Arubas, like 50 cents, I'm guessing. Um, mirror-like finish, you can kind of see around the area. 50 Arubas, or 50 cents, I don't know. Looks kind of like it could be silver, I don't know. We have some silver here, but I'm not going to show you the date till later on in this video. This thing just got blurry on me, but come on now. Focus, there we go. We got a Canadian coin. This one is from 1980. Dang, my eyes kind of hurt. <laughs> Tell me in the comments if that's ever happened to you, but... We have a 1980 Canadian coin, probably, uh, this is two, two pence, maybe? I don't know. Next up we have, I'm gonna go and see if we have any more Canadians in here. Ooh, there's a wee penny, I'm not gonna show that till around the end of the video too. Not a Canadian coin, uh, I'm not gonna show the date, let me see what this one is. I'm not going to show the date of that one. Let's see what this one is. Here are the dates on this side. I'm trying to see if we have any more Canadian coins. Oh, here we go. 1972. Probably like a nickel size. Two. It's a pretty good view of it. Uh, reverse. Let's see if I got anything else in here. Looks like that this is the last coin here. Um, I don't know if this is a token or if it's a Chinese coin. Um, I don't know for sure. All right, so now we're going to go past and we're going to look at this coin. So this one is a 1966 um, super small. Definitely. Five centavos. That'll give you a hint or whatever it is. Now we're gonna do this coin. It is a 1992. There, I wish this thing would focus. Here, I'm gonna get it out a little bit farther so you can see. 1992. I have one of these, but I think it might be silver maybe. Um, doesn't say really anything on the sides. Too important. Now this one, this one I'm very interested in. I do not know where this is from. It is a 1979. Hope y'all can see that. It's got 1979 at the bottom there. Um, here's the other side. One cent. It's got a hummingbird on it. Next up, we're gonna go for the steel penny. Is it the 1944? Nope, it's the 1943. But that's okay, it's still a steel cent. Pretty cool. We're going to go for the other wee penny. It is, I was thinking 1930s, but it's a 1944. Pretty cool. And last but not least, the last coin for this episode is going to be a Mercury Dime. And it is a 1942. What do you know? Everything. Very fine detail. Um, it's not super good. It looks like it got a little faded on the back but we were all pretty good so yeah see you guys in the next episode um hope you liked it and see you guys in the next episode.